good day. Another day, another learning. We are Group 7, Second Year College, Pre-Service Teachers. Lend us your ears as we impart to you our knowledge. Our lesson for today is Innovative Technologies for Assessment Tasks in Teaching and Learning. Use of technology in teaching and learning is inevitable in education, giving teachers the advantage to distract task making while developing digital literacy. Also, to the learners utilizing technology in doing tasks such as e-portfolio, blog, vast scope of World Wide Web, and editing applications for recreational and creative activities. Integration of these websites and applications to assess students' intellectual progress adopts to new social norm in learning. We are going to show you four pictures and you are going to guess what words depicts on the pictures. Those words are related to what we are going to discuss today. Lesson 1. ICT and Assessment of Learning There are four types of assessment. The first one is the formative assessment. It provides feedback and information during instructional process. While learning process is taking place and occurring. The second is the summative assessment that take place after the learning has been completed. The third is the diagnostic assessment that helps the teacher identify the student's current knowledge of the subject, as well as their skills and capabilities and to do clarify misconceptions about the matter. What are the rules of ICT in assessment in learning? ICT allows the learning process to be in fast pace with the use of new technologies to provide higher level of creative and critical thinking of the students. It also allows the teachers to record, store, and retrieve students' information and give feedbacks on the assessment of the students through online. These new technologies help the teacher to deliver instructions to the students with enough demonstration to increase students' performance, may it be on task, project, or test. What are the current trends in assessment in learning? Traditional assessments such as multiple choice, true or false, and the like received criticisms from some expert in an assessment. According to Wolpert Garon 2010, states that 21st century assessments are more reliable for it includes utilizing measures of assessment, increasing the use of technologies, focus on the development and growth of the learner, and lastly, differentiating the roles and which focuses more on honing the college students' practicality and intellectual in doing everyday tasks and to become career ready. With those being said, the education nowadays are far more exciting and also have innovative ways for students to learn while in an online setting. With this, the teacher will gain benefits such as motivation, distinctive instructional abilities, higher productivity, and more. Active learning is recommended to use because it allows the students and the teacher to interact during the class with the use of active learning methodologies such as the use of visual text, multimedia, or combination of these two. What are the criteria in choosing appropriate assessment tools? The differences in the complex cognitive skills of the learners requiring more responsive needs as teachers choose appropriate assessment tools. Assessment tools help learners measure their progress towards specific outcomes and modify their behavior to meet those goals. This will also allow learners to track their progress over time and enable teachers and organizations to report on the progress made by the students. The following are to consider in choosing a appropriate assessment tools, goals of assessment, methods of assessment either direct or indirect, and the interval in giving assessment. In addition, the informal assessment strategies of the teachers is done by observation and questioning. 
creating and utilizing rubric. The potential to assess a student's performance or work is the main purpose of a rubric. To effectively assess the learning objectives, rubrics can be modified to each assignment or outcome measure. The analytic and holistic rubrics are intended to assess teachers in observing students during a various performance or classes. The analytic rubric describes work on each criterion separately and utilizes separate. The holistic ratings of specific characteristics, products, or behavior, while the holistic rubrics describe the work applying by criteria at the same time and enabling overall judgment and about the quality of work. How does an electronic portfolio help the teachers and students? An electronic portfolio, which also known as e-portfolio, digital portfolio, or online portfolio is a collection of electronic evidences assembled and managed by users. It includes the text input, electronic files, images, multimedia, blogs entries, and hyperlinks. There are different types of e-portfolio. First is the ideal portfolio. This portfolio contains all the students' works, however, it is not given to provide students with grades. Next is the showcase portfolio or professional e-portfolio. This portfolio demonstrates the highlights of the student's academic career. Next is the documentation portfolio. This portfolio involves a collection of works over time showing growth and improvements upon students' learning. Lastly, the learning e-portfolio. This portfolio is created by the students as part of their learning activities. These portfolio are often shared with the students to elicit feedbacks. For video tutorial on how to make personal blogs at Wix.com, you may watch it on the provided link below. Enjoy while learning! For your assignment, make a personal blog utilizing the website Wix.com and write a minimum 200-word reflective essay of your understanding on ICT and assessment learning and why it is important to use appropriate assessment tools in teaching. Attach the link in the Google Drive submission panel. Thank you class! Until next time!